Good afternoon. My name is Tia. I'm the spa director of Willow Stream Spa Singapore. What is the first word or thought that comes to your mind when someone mentions the word spa? So, any more? Massage? Wonderful. Anyone else? Sorry? Yes, relaxation. So relaxation, pampering, quiet, massage, indulgence, nurturing, oasis. Indeed, these are the keywords most people, including the hotel operators, relate with the word spa. And most often, a hotel spa is viewed more as a service center than a revenue center. As a matter of fact, it is also viewed as a good customer service recovery center because the spa has the ability to offer the guest a few good factor. And it is true because a couple of times where the guest is not satisfied with the service within the hotel, and when they send them to the spa for spa treatment, and after 60 minutes of pampering and loving care, the last thing they remember is the beautiful experience. And most times, they cannot remember what they were upset about. <laughs> and that is what we will want them to leave the hotel for. So, my question is, can a spa be a revenue center? My answer is yes. A spa can be a very profitable revenue center. That is because we serve a group of customer that has the ability to influence the other revenue streams within the hotel. So, allow me to share with you some of our findings. With these data, we learned that our spa user stays longer in a hotel and at a higher average daily rate. And not only that, their average spend per day at the hotel is much higher than a non-spa guest. This is a very interesting slide because we found that 75% of our spa user dines in a hotel versus 45% of non-spa users. Spa users also clock in a higher average rate with the FMB. This is interesting as it shows that by getting the hotel guests into the spa, it may have a positive effect on their desire to eat at the hotel. Why is that so, you may ask? Well, simple. When you book for a spa treatment, normally we will advise you not to have a heavy meal before the treatment. Reason because it may cause some discomfort when you lie on the bed for 60 minutes. So, a spa treatment normally lasts between 60 minutes to three hours. And let's say you have a two hour treatment. And after the treatment, you step out of the spa in totally pampered and relaxed and still in your dreamy state. And most often, what do you think the first thing that hits you? Hunger. And what's the last thing you want to do? Is to go back to your room, get dressed, fix your hair, and for the ladies, fix our makeup, go down to the mall to look for food. So most likely, you may prefer to retreat back to your room and pick up the phone and order for room service. And because you're so relaxed and happy, your appetite may have increased and you end up ordering more. Or you may want to choose to cocoon in your bathroom by the pool. Order a nice glass of smoothie, have some sandwich, have some salad, and watch the world go by. So in both ways, we reason that a spa, we reason that a hotel that is successful at attracting in-house guest spa can expect a higher incremental revenue in other departments. So we put on to this mission and that is to increase our in-house gas capture for our spa. And I would like to share with you two of our successful strategies. We implemented a cross-selling incentive to our front lines, for our frontline colleagues, because most of the time, they are the one who has the first contact with our hotel guest. And what we do first is that we invite them for an orientation and brief them through our spa services. But what's the best part? We offer them a good spa treatment and we pamper them as we will pamper our client. And we want them to walk out in cloud nine so that they will be able to genuinely relate to our hotel guest. We believed 
that if our colleague were to try it, they will believe it. And if they were to love it, they will preach it. Simple. If I were to tell you that we have a great Japanese restaurant called Niguni, and they serve the best Wagyu beef and the best sashimi, but you would not be able to relate to a third person unless you taste it on your own. And this is the same logic when we apply for our spa. We set target and track the performance in terms of the referrers. And we set a very good incentive program. And I recall this morning, Doris mentioned about the carrot. And it is true, the incentive program works. And what kind of rewards do we give them? And that is more spa treatments. <laughs> Who will say no to a good spa treatment? And with that, we also give them spa products. And it doesn't cost us much because we work with a good spa house. They are more than happy to sponsor us. So you think about it, the more treatment, the more they achieve, the more we reward them and the more we pamper them and the more they are going to talk about our spa. A second strategy we adopt is that we develop multitasking spa treatments. May I ask, among all of you, who would prefer a massage? If you go to a spa, who would like to have a massage? Thank you. And who would like to have a facial? Okay, the last question. Who likes to have both? See? So, a multitasking spa treatment is a combination of face and body experience within a 60 and 90 minutes time frame. So this draw hotel guests that has limited time for spa treatment but yet want the complete experience. And it's value for money as they get to enjoy the best of both worlds. But the important factor is it allows a therapist to upsell two range of retail products to our guests because our therapists get to have the, both the face and body contacts. And spa retail sales have a significant contribution to our total spa revenue and it clocks in at least about 50 to 70% of the profit margin. And these echo what Professor Shirley's mentioned this morning with time. This is significant because we are able to generate additional revenue within a 60 minute time frame. Take for example, a hotel guest paid $150 for a 60 minute massage. And with good retailing, he or she walk away with another $300 worth of products. And that's a total of $450 within a 60 minute time frame, which would normally take me three hours to generate the same revenue. We are blasted. In 2014, we achieved our annual spa budget profit in seven months. And these are the two of the strategies that help us to achieve that result. With this, imagine if we put an effort in capture rate, how much more incremental revenue we will be able to generate. Just a growth of one to 2% up in the capture rate does make a great difference. Thank you, and thank you for allowing me to share this with you.